In Psalms 25, verse 4, it says, Make me to know thy ways, O Lord. When you know the ways of God, you are just naturally anointed with a success. It is drawn to you. You're naturally anointed with a happiness. It is in you and also drawn to you. Now, do you ever think of yourself in the reverse? Do you ever think of yourself as unsuccessful or caught up in uncertain times? A depressed company or a depressed economy? or limited conditions of any kind. Right now, with God's help, I ask you to put aside those feelings, put aside that erroneous thinking, and know that through God, you can be all that you desire to be, and even more. Christ is your spiritual guide, revealing ways, and leading you to a prosperous and a successful life. You do your part by welcoming divine ideas. Now that's a big one. It's easy to say, but it's a big one. So often we will push aside divine ideas because they're not our own. They're not what we thought of first. They're not necessarily the way we wanted to push through and go. You not only welcome divine ideas, but you incorporate those divine ideas into your life and into your living. You believe that through following Christ, the Christ-inspired ideas that come from the Christ, that there is always a better way, a better plan, a better action that will lift you out of any conditions of seeming lack. As you begin to move with divine ideas sent to you directly, custom for you, of prosperity and of success, you receive a definite yes in your own mind to all of the ideas, the thoughts, the actions, the ways, because you know that this is divinely inspired. You accept success and prosperity in mind. You accept divine ideas in mind that will lead you continuously to prosperous and successful living.